Star Talk with Kobe Che. And we are still here. And I mean, Central Hotel. I come here each and every week to shoot. And I want to say a big thank you to Godfrey and his team. Swimming pool, amazing. Their food, succulent, their, 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 their drinks. I mean, it's been displayed here. You guys can see. I'm going to be beard to flow the Star Talk. I'm introduction here, but T-Flo has started on. And so today, my guest is the man, T. Flow. But before that, let me say thank you to uh, Platinum Cinematics. You guys are always holding me down. So now we see a crack camera now, turn, you know, again, they say, the are the you know, hey, a syndrome. And so I have the man with me here, Ellie Kem. Ellie Kem, how are you doing? Good, bro. Good, bro. Good, Charlie, Charlie so thanks so much for coming. Yeah. The beer. All the time, all the time, man. Charlie. And you're rocking bell, Any day, any time, man. Charlie, 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 Charlie. taking Africa to the world. Hey, the beer, what the Africa come on? I'm going to move on in my hand. Chief Flo. Yeah, man. Flow education. Yeah, man. Flow addict. Yeah, man. Flow, flow addict, info. Oh, one want flow and it's just one skin. Ah. Uh, what the sun I want to see when you are in two minutes now, I found a flow addict. This year, what's it? Uh, will be a king of rap. Will be this year, actually, what's a wet play kinna? Oh, I'm actually more be all come, but I made them tight on them in pair. No, but I'm going to say, actually, send it to the show on you now. A bit too much, yeah, to me. Everybody wet play the other whole gun I want to do. First of all, most of them tight on them in pair, to me, in pair them with you. No, yeah. This year, question, Mr. And your title, I said, one can say, actually, and you may, I actually, I actually, I do you today? I'm a wet player. Are you good guy now? Be any more? I'm a rapper. Be any more? Be wet play. You be wet play. It be that that be one aspect, one element. Mm. It's just there. Are, there are million other things you go feel do when it comes to poetry and when it comes to creating lyrics. But wet play is just like the tiniest part of it. There are so many other things that yeah 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 can one share one because. They only watch the wordplay aspect, and it makes me feel like then they box me into some mm. category way. But is it is it is, is it is it is it is it the case that uh, you do it and do it so well? That is yeah, why I, people I, want to I box like, you. Yeah, I feel like that is the reason people feel like acquire in the wordplay there, side the whole Ghana. That mm. is what so, it's making them feel like. So yeah. would we say other artists are quite lazy when it comes to poetry? Because I know music goes a little bit with poetry, you understand? Yeah. Somebody, that's why you, you become phenomenal, because somebody is feeling like, hey, this guy's word play is crazy, because mm. look at the way he's just taking it from here. We didn't even expect this word coming. You for pause and go back, you rewind, uh -huh, you play, think about before it. you go get them. So I, would, you, would, you, would you agree that I think people are just, just, are just putting out material just for putting out sake or just for fame sake, not necessarily to give out the literature or the something that has to do with yeah. like points with it? Um, I think, I think, um, one way you can say laziness is a factor. And another thing too, you can say that um, everybody get their own unique style of uh, presenting the message they want to put out there. Um, somebody just want to say it on a surface level and still send the message. But somebody like me, I would like to add a different flavor to it just to give it more weight. You know, you think it is the weights that people are looking for. That's why when somebody rap and you hear the rap is deep. Yeah, isn't that a good compliment? And just to yeah, give it yeah, because I, yeah. I think I think that is actually a good thing, and um, that's what makes me feel like our, our, our gatekeepers, the industry gatekeepers, should be able to pinpoint people who put extra time into that craft and say, "Yo, I'm not gonna just." Um, Put say anything. anything and I will still get the chance to enjoy best rapper category or even win such an award. They should be able to set people down, people that will break lyrics down. In, I think like, you, you, you made this uh, statement this year yeah. or last year. I last think, year, yes, last, last year, year yes. when there was the best yes. uh, rapper yeah, I think, I think, I think it, it actually makes sense. Because and it makes sense, you, yeah. if, if, if they're going to take a song and then base your, base like nominate you, I, I think they nominate you on the song, song. the mm -hmm. rap you gave in that song. song. You understand? So if they're going to look at it and then go deep into it, I mean, you can't put people who just want to listen to just anything on the board and just say yeah. that they should just... Because yeah. probably you are, you are, you've been a best rapper before or something. I think yeah. if it's going to be judged according to that song, then yeah. you should really take a critical look That'd at the, the lyrics in that, that song. And then for you to, you should, sometimes you listen to rap and you're like, ha, yeah. I never expected this. Ha, you're wasting time. <laughs> now, <laughs> uh, start off with Kobe Che. I, I mean, I this is just like that. a brief uh, <laughs> introduction. I mean, uh, the fact that uh, he's no, a musician. No, it will so. be time waste. It will be time waste because it be so, 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 so important. This conversation has to have like big lights thrown mm. on it because we sit down, we select 
artist into a category for the best rap category, best rap. And we want to look at what the person has done previously yeah. on other songs. We want to look at the number of YouTube views the person has. It doesn't matter. It mm. doesn't have any connection with the lyrics. Mm. If I am nominated and Kobiche is also nominated and Kobiche already has a million followers, Kobiche will obviously have mm. million more follow uh, views than mm. I am. But if we say we are going to put the song down mm. and take it, it line by after line, line bar element after by bar, element, everything, <laughs> That is what we should be able to do to pick up the best rapper. Exactly. So, for, yeah. for, for example, if, if you're going to nominate Sarkodias, Sarah, okay, yeah. and then, because Sarkodias is obviously known as a, a, a very good rapper or the best rapper, if you're going to nominate him and then because he's, you already have in mind that he's a good rapper, you're going to just judge from that. It doesn't make sense if you are getting what it's saying. Me because wow. you are going to judge on the song. On so that song. That, the yeah, rap should, on that song. We should judge it's not on the song. Nobody did. That song. song is not that. Exactly. Much. I think that, I mean, um, <laughs> Let's go proper into the conversation. And so today's a discussion. I don't know if your man is ready to give us some freestyle. I mean, one of the best rappers in Ghana. Are you, are you, are you ready to give us some bass before we go to today's subject, which is um, parents and talents, children, how parents uh, manage uh, talent when it comes to their kids or their children. But give us some freestyle. Um, I'm not gonna give freestyle mm. because this is the problem we have in Ghana and I'll keep hammering it and I personally will say I've stopped doing freestyles because whenever we come to pro promote our stuff all we are asked to do is keep freestyling and freestyling and when the time is up and our songs have to be played they don't get played then they focus play, on the freestyle they play um, every uh, every other person's songs and they leave out the people who are lyricists Hmm. You go for an interview, you, they sit you down, they drop beat after beat, you do rap after rap, and the main song you brought to promote, they don't play it. Hmm. But they will play every other person's song. And when you are done, they will tell you, Charlie, rap, no crap, what's up, Charlie? Can't you see the industry is not selling with rap? You should probably do these other songs. Why then do you want me to do a freestyle? No. I'll put it on a song and bring it to you to play. Best. So do your um, so goss, goss, goss on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you still want me to rap? Goss on, goss on. Now don't give I me... I said, I'm um, mm. goss on, I'm in goss on with a G code. Give me space, make a ball, that's a free throw. They throw shots, but I only see B-rolls, claim goats, all I see is a bunch of he goats. They're trying to be like T-Flow, then the T-Flow. So it's funny how they always they argue with Tim Flow. Tim O'Flow on hashtag, me licky me cool. They don't get bread, but then they fight over T's flow. To mama one chibum, beat to this year, me to chibum. Me a messy zero, me the ball, I'm the speed. Messi, you know, Ronaldo, I'm moving with Figo, claiming superhero, Tico driver, keep the ego, sit your ass down. And now, Zena, sit your ass down. Hey, Flo, sit your ass down, sit your mouth down. Now, Alakam, let's go straight to the subject. Parents, relationship, how to manage talents. Yeah, right. Before we case the T-Flo, I mean, the flow you just gave was awesome. It was incredible. I mean, I didn't expect some of the, you know, usually when people are rapping, you can hear, let's say, metaphor, oligo. I mean, yours is quite Makes sense. Because, yes, the word plus is the word play. You were talking about the gatekeepers. You stop giving freestyles and all that. Yeah. They, they, are, they don't try to play your songs because they are saying that, can't you see that your rap is, like rap wouldn't do anything or something. Don't you think these people are, are killing the rap industry? And how many rappers do you, do, uh, would you say that rappers are giving up easily because of what's the trends that's going on? Yeah, it's obvious. It's, it's quite obvious. Um, our system has been designed such that the average person who starts to do music is fused with the perception that if you don't do a song, that is straight commercial. up dance. In Diasa is not commercial. And sometimes I feel like that's the dumbest thing anybody can say. Everything is commercial. Anything you can market and put out there is commercial. If it is hip hop, and we all can understand that. We all love hip hop. All of us, Ghanaians, we all love hip hop. We listen to every hip-hop artist out there. But if a Ghana person do them, um, then you guys, they talk about, Charlie, if you Afrobeat, where you for do, it be in the commercial. What do you mean? Migos know they do Afrobeat, but they it's not even outside Ghana. 
can, when you start that, that argument, they will tell you that uh, that is commercial. Those songs it be commercial for Abroche, but it's commercial here too. Because when Kanye dropped his album, it was number one in Ghana too. So you think most rappers are, are running? Are running? Yeah, these are rappers calling. are running. They are moving away, and it's so like crazy that when you even send songs for them to hop on. They feel like telling me I feel like hip hop now nah, and call and call and telling and I'm like, yeah, baby, for Fred, you know. Mm. But hmm. anyway, that's a topic for another let's, day. Yes, yeah, so let's, let's to let me our, our topic. Yes, you know, yes, 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 yes. So uh, how is how is your relationship with your parents like? You know, like when, especially when it came to when it comes to your music. Uh, my relationship with my parents is perfect. My mom knows I'm into music. Uh, my dad knows I'm into music. Um, I don't live with my parents now because I'm. Um, yeah. you know, but beginning when, when when you started, obviously you the, every every parent every Ghanaian parent let me put it like that yeah. would want their child to go to school and yeah. you know as, as everybody else is doing. It's a norm. So are yeah. like, you trying to do music? Yeah, um, I think my route, the route I took uh, was quite different from other people. I was in tech and I started music from tech. Um, by the time I came out of tech, I was already extremely popular. I went through. Uh, through the next big thing in GH whilst I was in tech okay. and that showed me on TV even before I started music properly I don't think any parents will, will pull their child away from that yeah but after tech I mean every parent want their child to actually go look for a white collar job or yeah. look for some 8 to 5 yeah. job so obviously you're just starting your career so yeah. I don't think your parents would be so in tune yeah. or in you just starting off your music I'm sure probably there was a way they really wanted you to they yeah. wanted to rip off what they sold yeah. from your school? It, there, there were, there, I, I wouldn't say it was, it was ever easy. It wasn't easy at all trying to convince uh, my parents. But I would say I am lucky to have my parents. There wasn't much conversation on it. It was simple. The only thing my mother ever said about the music career is, if you want to do music, make sure you are putting your all into it and stop rapping chi you are not an ashanti because mm. when i began i was rapping chi uh -huh. when tech tech days because i felt okay we were kumasi and i'm what tech boys in the chi and you know me in aka in this i'm rapping i'm watching in tema let me speak chi but then after that message and one big brother to hit on that same topic rose big shout out to rose on that so i'm like you know what actually that's true so I flipped and I started writing fancy, actual fancy lyrics. And fancy be sweet. So my conversation, my vibe with parents was quite easy for me. But I know people like um, Don Ichi, I've heard him speak on radio sometime. That spoke about the tension with his dad when, um, with regards to the, his music career. And I know a lot of other people have those issues. I know females that are extremely talented. There's this lady in Cape Coast, she's amazing. But she says, you know, there's that strict, you know, um, boundary around her when it comes to her career. And I think it's, it only has to do with you at the end of the day. You shouldn't always allow your parents to drive you. Always. But, but I, I think from what you're saying, if you shouldn't allow your parents to drive you, that is, you can only say that at a point where like you are done with tech or you are almost in tech. That is like in a mature position. Let's let's say you were in SS and you decided to do the music. Yeah. How would your parents take it? You push yourself, push yourself back in your own shoes yeah. and then look at it. How would yeah. your parents? How would they have taken it back then if you were in SS trying yeah. to do music? Coming back to the topic of you shouldn't always let them drive you. It's simple. You are in SS. You are you have started rapping, and Coincidentally, fortunately or unfortunately, everybody loves it. Anybody that meets you is a fan. That is a clear sign that what you are doing. And that's a drive. It's a drive. You go back home, your dad is like, I will rough a mat today with school, you know. You go back to school, you still keep doing it. You come back, he still go talk. You go back to school, you still do it. You still do it. As a parent, he would want to be a parent and try to put you on a path he thinks is best, of, for, is best for you, yeah. you know? But nobody knew Sarkwadeh would become Sarkwadeh. Do you get me? Sarkwadeh can feed hundreds of, peop of people in Ghana here, including his parents, you know? And so as much as you are trying to 
um, follow that drive they want to put you in. You should also be able to be in tune with your heart. Nice. Your passion. Yes. Now, uh, in the Western world, I mean, you realize that if, um, say, someone gives birth and uh, he realizes that the child wants to do football mm -hmm. or go into soccer mm -hmm. or, say, go into music, right from the scratch, they find something that is tuned to music or soccer affiliated to the child mm -hmm. to start from the scratch. So even like before like Ronaldo, like Messi and those guys, what would now who then ban for football now? Some people like the football. They yeah. first they put them in. Yes. Yeah. But in Ghana it's quite different. Parents trying to push their walls or their kids to different uh, um, areas where they don't belong. What advice will you give to parents who really do that? Um advice there yeah, me I'm too young to advise parents. I'm not no, I'm, I'm asking yeah, yeah, because know, of yes. I know. But I'm, I'm trying to say that, first of all, the notion that everything else is different when it comes to interpersonal human relationships outside Africa is wrong hmm. because it's not true. There are parents that are into forces, um, uh, army, navy, that force their kids into hmm. that. And they are white people. It's just different situations. That's, 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 that's more of like job security. So that's, that, that brings us to like, that brings me to understand that basically parents are looking for to you know, put for you in a for position. Yes. Yes. position where you have job security. Yeah. That is the more reason why they are forcing you to go to school because we are not So they are not allowed to do something that's... Like at least you are yeah. secure that every month they have a salary. So they are, not, they, are, they, are, they are not doing the things that they actually love No, because to do. they want you to they be secure. There are people out there. They are, me, I know that there are people out there who would have loved to just play football hmm. or do music, but are, have joined the military mm -hmm. because your parents says, your parents is probably one of the top dogs in the hmm. camp and you have to be there hmm. because all your brothers are there. Who are you to go and do music? That's the same thing that is happening here. It's everywhere. But I think at the end of the day, everything has to do with the person, you yourself. There are people who have been kicked out of the house because they didn't decide to follow. Now, Flo, how do those career. people manage um, such situations? Like when you are coming up and say you're a rapper, you are a footballer, you have that passion for it, and your parents are saying otherwise. How do you sit down to convince your parents that this is a drive, this is what I want to do? I think action speaks louder. Put in the work. So, you see, the truth is that the parents actually yeah. don't see... You see, the thing is that they don't see the future that you see. Yeah. Do you get it? Yeah. So when yeah, you push, so how do you convince? How do you convince them? You yeah. convince them with your actions. If I play um, state of the art to my mom or my dad, and I be like, listen to this for me and tell me what you think. When they listen to it, they will feel like maybe what can sempa, but they wouldn't know it will pick up the record of the year award, right? So if you really work towards it and it picks up that award, and you are on national television, and they, they called out your name for record of the year for this song, I will betray me. So it's not kind of Chelsea Men Coast Studio. So that's, put in I, their work. Yes, me, I think and that, then that they, is, will, they will fall in I line. think that's at the level where... Yes, like, put in the work from the scratch. Sometimes like, it's very difficult. From the scratch, it is very if you go to the studio to record this song that even won you record of the year, yes. let's say um, you were starting back then. Yeah. How will your, your parents even have that belief that you challenge? Yes, they will That's That's the same point. I'm so when you wake up, say you are going to the studio, and say don't go to the studio. What are you going to do? When you wake up, don't say you are going to the studio. You know they tell lies to your parents already. <laughs> no, you see your parents lies. You know, wow. Think be the first thing you are going to tell you a lie that, about. That, you see, I think you, we are talking from if a mature go, perspective where you are already uh, yes. an adult. No, no, fine. You no, I'm not yes. even talking about that. So for the young guys who have come in, who have... Back then, back then, right? When you go see... Um, go to your friend's house to play video games while you are supposed to be in a library. Do you tell them you are going to play video games? So advice, no. So the advice you are giving to yeah, these young guys going through this situation? Keep that focus. They will tell you to stop. They will pull you back. Don't. And at some point, you will come... 
they will join you. But the parents are those who want the best for you. Yes, they yes. want the best for okay. you. So if but sometimes, it's, it's sometimes not local, they don't see the vision. We believe locally that our parents have been there already. They are, they are older, mm-hmm. so they have seen. But what they, they haven't are, done what, 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 what the they picture are, picture yeah, So what they are seeing, what they are telling, they are come up with into one more catch us and my dad from school, me me when I come come to school, me to school, we need a doctor and a yeah. lawyer. Yeah. Do you get what I'm trying to yeah. say? At that point in time, there is no way you can convince your mother that you want to be a musician. No, but Flo, 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 you want to be a Flo, musician. Do you think that uh, because of this situation, or such situation that we are, we are we are talking about, parents have I mean killed talent in Ghana? Yes, plenty, yeah. plenty, plenty of people. They offices. And they are really good. Yeah, you can go to an office and then somebody will give yeah. you some freestyle, you mumble. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Like taxi driver be. Plenty, <laughs> people, plenty of people they sell on the streets. Mm. Uh you know be you know be parents will kill them. Yeah, that's what I want to say. I'm not sure yeah. the, the system itself the system. be hard. Good. 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 You know, and so person like that, in your turn you got same fan so whom is me to me calm na or shall because say, ah, see flow or tin a calm na. It means say I could have also been like this. But me hon ye inti na me into. But we all we day out, we day inside self. We too ye hon she she. But we still did it anyway. So it started reaping something. So me, I feel like the whole conversation of talent being killed mm-hmm. by parents or um, that loss of motivation and inspiration, um, and with regards um, that connecting that to education is a big thing that has to actually be looked at. Most people think there should it should be this or that. It shouldn't. I was in tech, and I was going to class, and I did every assignment. I was there for every mid-sem and every exam, and I still recorded with Snowbeat mm. inside the hostel bathroom. Mm. We were doing it small, small. The Nigerians would be making noise, smoking all over the place. Mm. But so we we'll wait at dawn when they are asleep. We put one laptop, one headset. With some, we didn't even have a microphone back then. So it means regardless, you were, you were yeah, going through that. The headset that has a small mm-hmm. thing. Then we take them small, 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 till we started going into studios. But at the same time, we were going to school. So if your parents say, don't do music, go to school, show them you are going to school. Mm-hmm. Come back home with good grades. And at the end of the day, the music is selling low-key on the side. But now, but can we even, no, but we're even looking at the tertiary level. Let's look at those in the senior high school. I, I do, yeah, do, high do, school. yes, the, the senior high school. Yeah. Will you bear with me that the teachers are also not uh, doing their job? Why? Because I, I feel that there should be that teacher-parent relationship so that you can convince your, uh, or you can, you can pass that communication to uh, your parents that, hey, I brought you. Charlie, me banu, or you, me share, 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 No, because once, once, once say I'm a teacher, I'm, and I'm, I'm able to convince a parent that your word is good and this, so pay attention to. I think teachers do that too. Are you sure? But the teacher, parents don't will listen. If you're not careful, they listen. Teachers do that. Me, I know teachers back at my school, high school. Um, big shout out to everybody who attend a mass, Charlie. God bless you. Um, I know most of my teachers, Wakito. Big shout out to Wakito. He will, he, he, will, he was like supporting all the guys who played football because he was a footballer himself, but he couldn't pursue it. He's now a teacher. He sees anybody who plays football and tries to tell you you for play ball. You know, you are in school, so come to class. Come to class, write to the exam, try and pass. But you will be football will make you make money. By the end of the day, if then draw contract for you from Barcelona, you have to read it mm. and you have to understand it and you have I, to know I, what I you think, are doing. I think the thing is that there's no clear cut of a, of having a future with such things. That this is where we bring. Um, this this is, where, this is where this is where this is where we bring. This is where we bring the curtains down. It has been a very beautiful conversation with regards to uh, parents, uh, child managing talent, and how we can even stop. I mean, suppressing these guys, I mean, uh, our kids who really want to achieve success through what, I mean, they were born to come and do. So let's, I mean, for me, my, my advice is that kiss, get closer to your parents. I mean, have that one-on-one uh, relationship with your parents. Tell them that this is what I want to do, mommy, regardless. And prove them. And like uh, Tiflo said, let's the drive. Keep the drive. Now, once you keep the drive, it is also going to change your thought at a point in time yeah. to follow what, I mean, you've been dreaming for. And so, I mean, this is where you bring the question. But let me quickly ask some questions that requested, three questions of the day that I'm going to ask uh, T-Flo. Flo, 
Say, uh, you invite your girlfriend home. Mm -hmm. Your girlfriend home. Don't be say your wife. Your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You invite her home. Where as she come sleep over now, the next day, she die. What you go do? The way flow her high is say, what's the egg? She don't give me. Hey. Hey. What the egg? Hey. Bonsu. Bonsu. I say, let me come. Ha. I have a talk, I have a question ABC. This thing I am Charlie. <laughs> I'm speechless. Why you gonna run away? What you gonna do? The, me, I know me, I know myself. I'll call my mom. Mm. Yeah, I'll tell my mom. When, whenever I'm in trouble, she's the one I'll, I'll I'll call my mom. No, but so at that point you call your mom to If it was something else, maybe I would call my wife. But that's why if, if you get away, she yeah. die. So what you go do at that point in time? I'll call my mom. If what you go call Yeah, if my mommy, I will call my mom. Mama so you go out, make your mommy can't take and go more for you or what? No, your mom will tell you what to do. And your mm. mom will give you the best advice. Unless you don't have... Holy, holy, holy. Now the second one, the second one. You wake up. I mean, I, have, I know you have a huge following on social media. Yeah. You are verified. Yeah. You wake up one morning and all your followers, your followers, down to zero. What will be your first reaction? And I'm followers <laughs> I will enter Instagram and my email inside and I will go base them say what's up. They start to kill followers. <laughs> because you know they make sense. <laughs> but that would be crazy. Then you they your following still there. Yes. The followers lot. Yes. I will I will just hit Instagram up and try to find out why. I I, I feel like it'll be a glitch or something. Yeah. That'd be Charlie, that'd be my name is Kobe J. Big thank you to uh, Platinum uh, Cinematics and also to Elikim for joining us today. My guest is to flow the whole guy and the band rap there, Charlie. And this year, we're promising the fans of the drop us uh, and the moon pool. You don't come drop something soon? Yeah. Come with the title. Um, it will come very soon. The title is it's coming very soon. It's coming very soon. And yeah, uh, <laughs> but I have here? a new joint out there with Famiya, so mm. I beg you make it. Yolo, 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 yolo. Famiya produced by Snowbeat. Mm. It's a nice goofy song. Mm. One I'm gonna say more pedi, I'm gonna be sao. <laughs> One I'm gonna say more pedi, I'm gonna be jauleu, and I am a mubi. So I beg you, but we have so much coming. Flow Education Two is coming, and mm. I can't wait for you guys to hear it. I already. I already. A big thank you to Central Hotel for always holding us down. My name is Kobe Chase. Talk with Kobe Chase. See you. Bye.